Oh, what's up, Game Weavers? Big Daddy Eggs back at it. And in today's video, well, first of all, I've got a couple of 11 9 changes that have been leaked, and then we're going to update you on the best 10 champions you have to play for free LP for the rest of this patch, guys, because there were some big changes in that 11 8 patch. And as always, I'm here to fill you in on what's happening, why things are happening, and all that. Now, before we get into the two 11 9 changes Riot has in store for us, guys, if you haven't already checked out the Game Weave website, then it is the time to do so. If you want to achieve your rank goals this season, if you want to improve on the Rift, we have everything. So if you want to master a champion, we have champion specific courses and guides if you want to master a role we have role specific courses and guides as well and if you want the best well we have the jizz so get signed up links as always in the description and comment section all right so the first of the two upcoming 11 9 changes guys well to those of you playing tanks and cled and warwick sunfire aegis is getting reverted so you're going to be dealing 150 percent damage to monsters again which is great for any of you playing a sunfire aegis jungler and what does this mean well these typically weak clearers like sejuani amumu and zack are quicker in the mid game onwards and champions like warwick and Nunu are quicker than they already are. Now, of course, this doesn't mean your dueling and fighting is better off, but in terms of taking dragons and then barons from 20 minutes plus, this is very helpful. On these champions as well, your scaling is arguably the strongest in the game, and this just adds fuel to that late game Sunfire build. And then the other change we have to mention, guys, is a nerf that is coming to Turbo Chem Tank. And it's about time, I reckon. And what's happening is the movement speed in this active, guys, is down by 20%, which will discourage Hecarims and Udyrs and Volley Bears and God knows what else from buying this mythic, but will it be enough to stop them? Honestly, probably not, because your clear speed up until your chem tank spike is the same as if you were to go the sunfire route because you buy the same items, and clearing jungle camps isn't really the most important detail in the mid to late game on these champions. I mean, it's important, it's just at that stage you've done all the power farming you need to do, and it's time to unleash in the kills department. So no doubt the sunfire Aegis buff is to induce some of these chem tank users to think a bit more about item diversity, but things are probably going to stay the same, but it is a step in the right direction for the new look balance team. Now for the top 10 champions of 11-8, Guys, the updated version. These are 10 you have to play legit. Like, if you want to get the maximum amount of LP before 11 9 hits us in over a week's time, this is it. And if you like this type of video, by the way, you know, a mid patch update filling you in on what's OP, then let us know by liking the video. And we're still running timestamps, by the way. We love you guys that much. Now, yes, number 10 is a champion who has been so good this season, especially in low levels of play. So, if you're a top planner and you want easy wins for the next week or so, pick Nasus. And yeah, it sounds pretty boring, right? You just farm Q all game, but you trade that early game boredom, guys, for insane late game scaling. And honestly, the best split push in the entire game. Like, no one can deal with you. The Frozen Heart buff, which now gives you an extra 10 armor, comes in handy against all the AD champions you see in the top lane. I mean, it's not substantial, but it's still a positive. And then we have your synergy with Divine Sundra. And as we are all too familiar with, if your mythic power spike is trash, guys, your champion is trash. It's as simple as that. But this one is right up there. The hybrid damage, the spell blade, the ability has, it has everything. And this is why Nasus is, again, among the best win rates for another patch. Now, just ahead of Nasus, we have an AD carry who is honestly becoming the standout marksman. After multiple nerfs to Kaiser and a nerf to Jin, these two aren't as strong as they were, and after a few buffs, Jinx has taken over, boasting the highest AD carry win rate out of the bunch, and that's in every elo. So if you're iron or gold or playing on the Turkish server, time to start fostering a love for pink hair. And yes, the reason why Jinx is taking over, guys, is because she can now lane without dying five times a game, because when you play her, your rocket's range is bigger, meaning you're safer when you harass and CS, and when you use your rockets, your attack speed is reduced by much less. So you can get out more attacks, which in turn enhances that DPS and makes you a nightmare to deal with, especially when you throw in your passive as well. So Jinx coming in at number 9. Now I've got to head back to the top lane for this next pick guys, and can I just say that if you are a top lane main, the rest of this patch and the next one could not look much better. Well that's if you buy these champions, but yeah, you have a lot of options, and one of these is Dr. Mundo, who has emerged from the 11-8 changes as a real force on that island. And that is thanks to the top lane Mundo buffs, which saw your passive's health regen increase, so your sustain in lane is ridiculous, especially when you run grass with the Undying as your keystone and second wind in that resolve tree as well. And your Q now restores double the health when you hit an enemy champion, which again empowers that sustain of yours. We've also got to remind ourselves of the Sunfire Aegis buffs a couple of patches ago that increase your immolate damage and haste, so your 1v1 is stronger. And then we have the Sunfire Aegis buff next patch, which, well, it won't do much for top lane Mundo, okay? But if you wanted to farm Grump or Krugs or even sneak a Rift Herald, you can do so more liberally. So Mundo makes the top 10. Now I'm one for diversity in these top 10s, guys, but when the facts speak to me, I can't ignore them. Just like you guys when Double Lift speaks to you before our videos. So coming in at number 7 is Kled, who has spiked to the top of the win rates after those Sunfire Ages buffs I just mentioned from 11.6. And you actually used to build Sunfire on Kled before the nerfs of the Mythic in 11.4, and this is now back on the table. And is it ever? You see, after the myriad nerfs to Gore Drinker, it's been cast aside by many a top laner. And Sunfire, guys, funnily enough, gives you as much dueling power, if not more, because of the stacking passive, and you get the same ability haste. Not to mention the armor and magic resist, which 
which also comes in clutch. Now, lots of players don't actually know how to deal with Kled either, and even though Fiora is a big-ass counter, it takes time for players to actually play her at a level where they can put you in the dirt. The Titanic Hydra nerf was a bit of a low blow in 11-8, no doubt about that, but if you build a Stereos Gauge and Gargoyle Stoneplate after your Sunfire, you're all good. Now, another top laner, I'm sorry guys, who is bellowing his way through patch 11-8 is Orn, who is the most reliable top champion on this list, in the sense that you are always going to have an impact no matter how your game is going. If you're behind, you have your playmaking with your ultimate and then your passive, which helps you and your team scale into late game juggernauts. And if you're ahead with an early Bramble Vest and Barmy Cinder, nothing is going to stop you from burning the rift. In Korean high elo guys, the fire below the mountain, sounds a bit like Smaug from The Hobbit, has a 62% win rate. He's just incredibly hard to beat, so pick him up. Now for the top five guys and kicking us off, we have a new jungler who is making as much noise as any at the moment. So much so that she is banned 40% of the time. And that's because Morgana jungle is a pain in the rear end to play against. And this guys is because Riot increased your W's damage to monsters, which means you can full clear your camps, get this, before the three minute mark. This is the quickest in the game and is behind Morg's 55% win rate in the jungle at the moment. Now I guarantee you guys, this will probably get nerfed or something, it's that broken. So get in quick. Actually, I don't guarantee it because yeah, it is the right balance team we're talking about. But if you guys have tried out Morgana jungle this patch, let me know in the comments how you found it. Now this next champion guys, right, did actually try to nerf this patch and this was Urgot with that Titanic Hydra nerf, but the God hasn't really gotten worse. Well, he has, but it's obviously minimal because Zwan's Chemical Crab still has a top three win rate. And the main reason for this guys is the on hit that still exists in your W and the fact you can proc Titanic's Cleave passive with this on hit. And even though it got reverted back to 50%, it's still enough for you to reign as one of the most destructive top lane champions. With Stride Breaker and its active, which allows you to dash towards your enemies and slow them, this acts as the stickiness you need to be able to delete enemy squishes and stop not just your lane, but the game as well. In addition, the Black Cleaver changed so that it now grants you movement speed, that adds to that stickiness, and it's just very scary laning against Urgot these days. It's like if you get hit by one of his Qs, it's over. So Urgot is in a number four. Now the top three guys in these champions are all sponsored by Gameweep.com, the market leader in providing challenger tier league content, exclusive for subscribers that other sites simply don't. You see, it's fresh, it's original, and most importantly, we care about you. So our videos and then your learning experience, that is what they are designed for. So stop wasting time, guys, and sign up via the links down below. Now number three on the updated 11-8 countdown is another bruiser, but this one doesn't build Sunfire Aegis or Stride Breaker because Wukong guys is interested in the new and improved Trinity Force and Divine Sundra. And the Kong has been maybe the best pick of Season 11, all things considered, and he is at one of his strongest points right now. The Trinity Force, which now gives you AD and haste and movement speed rather than attack speed is 10 times better and therefore makes your TF spike better than what it already was. I like the tankier champions on this list, you are hard to kill because you have innate tankiness in your passive and your W is also a great tool to use to outplay your opponents, survive ganks and gap close. So if you want a champion who is broken, has two ultimates, and is the biggest Darius counter in the game, embrace your primitive human form guys and pick Wukong. Now these next two champions are neck and neck in terms of being the strongest 11-8 champion, and you could have either at the number one spot, but for me, the runner up to the most broken champion is Diana. Now, I'm not talking about mid lane Diana guys, I'm talking about jungle Diana, who like Morg, has a stupid 55% win rate across the board, thanks to the 11-8 bust to your passive's attack speed and damage. This has made it so that you can full clear your camps in just over three minutes, and in this meta guys, that is the jungle, full clearing with pace, and the new jungle Diana fits the bill. Now make sure to still go Night Harvester as your mythic, but instead of Lich Bane as your second major item, buy a Nash's Tooth instead. The attack speed and 100 AP gives you a better clear speed, and the chance to proc your passive quicker and more often in fights, which is what you want if you're running Conqueror in your runes, and when you follow this up with a Zonya's Hourglass, you could say you have the best three item spike in the game, and not many are going to argue with you. Like Morgana, I feel as if this will get targeted soon by Rito guys, so grab some LP before it's too late. And then we have the number one champion of 11-8. Well, I predicted this mid laner was going to be OP, and this mage has even exceeded my expectations because Vladimir is the best champion in the game right now. And it's funny because Vladmains weren't even asking for buffs before this patch, but you guys got one, and this has made you beyond broken. The lower Q cooldown at later ranks is huge because getting more Qs off than less is obviously better for your trading and even your all-ins. And this patch, Hextech Rocket Belt also got buffed, which is your main mythic. The six magic pen you now get is one of the most worth stats on Vlad because of the sheer amount of AP you can dish out, and this allows you to one-shot whole teams at a time. It's crazy. And if any of you have played against the new Vlad or as the new Vlad, tell me about that experience in the comments. So that was the mid-patch update for 11.8, guys. Thanks so much for watching, as always. Remember to smash that sub button on your way out before leaving. This has been Coach Hayes, and until next time, peace.